Hey guys, welcome back to the Bookworms Buddy. Today I'm going to do a tag for you. It is the Pleasurable Book Tag. I found this over at Sue Morrow's um, channel. It's not the original one. I was not tagged in it, but um, it seemed like one that would be pretty simple to do. It's, it's pretty easy. There's only five questions. So I figured, why not? So our first question is, which book gives you the most pleasure to read? And I am going to say, for me, that book is it. I've read this book three times. It is a big book. But um, it's by Stephen King. And one of the things I like the most about this book are the characters. Um, you have beautiful, beautiful characters in this book. You get to live... Um, live in their shoes, you get to go on journeys with all of them, and you get to see inside their heads, and you get to experience everything that they're experiencing, because they are that vivid in my mind, they're that, they're that vividly created by the author. Um, I know a lot of people have read this book, and the last time I read it, we read it in a group atmosphere, and... I got to read with some people that hadn't read it yet, and it was really kind of fun to experience that with them for the first time. Um, and there will be no time that I read this book in the future. Um, I like to revisit it as much as I can. And it is my all-time favorite book ever written by my all-time favorite author. So um, this has got to be the most pleasurable book for me. Um, which series gives you the most pleasure to read? That series has to be Stephen King's The Dark Tower. Um, reading this series, I had felt every emotion, so many emotions, and went through so many things, and it really did feel like a journey that we that I was taking um, with Roland, who is our main character in the book, or in the series. And you get introduced to such beautiful characters in this one, too. Stephen King has just got a knack for creating brilliant characters. I mean, all of his characters in his books should just come to life. They're so realistic. I connect to almost every one of them. And um, this was quite the journey. You, you, you get the gunslinger, which is book one. And then you get the drawing of the three. And then you get the wasteland. Wizard and glass. Wolves of the color which was one of my favorites, Song of Susanna, and The Dark Tower. Now there is uh, the, the Wind Through the Keyhole, which I haven't read that one, but uh, I don't know if I will read it. Um, I've heard that you're supposed to read it at the end of the series, not in between where, I think it's, it says it's a 3.5 between book three, and, or I mean three point, yeah, between book three and book four. I don't really know. I just heard you're supposed to read it. It's better to read it at the end of the series. But this series, uh, it, I've read it almost twice. Um, like the first four books, I read twice. And the rest of them, I just read as they came. You know, I hadn't had them all. And my husband had bought me the first four that come in this box set. So um, I read them and then... I had to buy these last three because I still hadn't had them. But anyway, yeah, this is probably my most pleasurable series. The next one is, which trilogy gives you the most pleasure to read? And for me, that is the Paradise series by Ted Decker. Um, or trilogy, sorry. This was amazing. Um, you start with the first book, Showdown. The second one was Saint. And then the third one is Sinner. Um, you, when you read the backs of the books, you would not think that Saint played into this at all. But it's essential to read this right after you read Showdown. It's essential to read this one. Because I read the back and I'm like, well, this doesn't even sound like it goes with the series or with the trilogy. But I went ahead and read it, and you really must read this one second. Um, this was such a brilliant trilogy. Um, like I've said before, Ted Decker is one of my favorite authors. He is Christian fiction. Um, but he generally doesn't 
he's generally not a preacher when he writes his when he writes his books, which I love that. Um, I don't need somebody to tell me what to believe. So he doesn't normally do that in any of his books. It's always good versus evil. Well, when I got around to, to Sinner, I felt that it kind of left the good versus evil thing and went into you must believe what I believe kind of thing. And it, it kind of threw me off a little bit. And then I really didn't like that aspect of this one. Um, it was going so great with this. This did tie the books together, which was which was awesome. But I just could have been without the the belief versus the belief thing, um, rather than the good versus evil, which is what he bases most of his novels on. And but overall, this is got to be my favorite trilogy. It was so fantastic to read. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of a lot of trilogies and a lot of series that I enjoy. I just it's hard to pick when you've got several. So this would be my most pleasurable trilogy. The next one is, which author gives you the most pleasure to read? That's a given. Stephen King is the author that gives me the most pleasure to read. All of his books, like I've said before, these two top shelves right here, I have like 53 books on those two shelves and they're all Stephen King. And I've read just about every one of them. There's like a couple I still need to read. But um, Stephen King I've been reading for a long, long time. And I just recently got my library built up of his. Because, you know, um, in younger years, I would pick up a book every now and again. But it always seemed like they were misplaced or lost somehow. And I just didn't end up, I only ended up with like a few of his books when I ended up moving to Texas. So, um it's been nice to be able to, to pick up all the all those old books that I enjoyed so much. And um, it was actually one of them that I had to replace. So I was happy that I got myself another copy. But yeah, Stephen King will always be my favorite author. author. That will never change. And the last one is, uh, what is your most pleasurable reading experience? I try to make all my reading experiences pleasurable because um, when I read a book, okay, I've got to say the most pleasurable experience is when I'm actually pulled into the story and can't put my book down. Those are always going to be the most pleasurable reading experiences that I have. Um, you know, it doesn't always turn out that way. You will pick up a book that you don't enjoy so much and it makes you appreciate those times when you pick up a book that you can get yourself immersed in so deeply that you just don't want to come out of the story you feel like you're actually there and those will always be my most measurable or most pleasurable reading experiences um over you know overall so there's not any specific time i just i know i remember you know being with my parents and being in the library and getting mounds of books out and that was when my love for books started. And that was way back when. I mean, that was moons ago. Uh, many moons ago. So anyway, I'm going to take some people for this video. I'm going to take Catherine from Catherine's Book World. I'm also going to tag Amanda from The Fiction Fairy. And then I'm going to tag Rebecca from Imarowin. I'm sorry, Rebecca, if that's not right. But... <laughs> I tried so um, I'll leave those guys below in the video and you can all go visit them um, thanks guys for staying tuned and we'll catch you soon bye